Hey guys, it's Joey Gaming, and welcome back to another video on the Joey Gaming YouTube channel. If you're new here, then welcome to my YouTube channel. Please consider subscribing. I do videos like this every single day with the best of quality. Well, maybe not the best of quality because, you know, I suck at editing videos. All right, all I do is I just put gameplay over with some audio. And then I put some, like, you know, maybe some text. Maybe I put a few images on what I'm talking about online that I steal off of online. And I just, you know, put them on here. That's all I do, all right? So maybe not the best of quality, but you get the point, right? I do videos like this every day. I cover topics like this all the time, all right? Just making random commentary videos on some random stuff, all right? So if you haven't yet, go and subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, you guys can always unsubscribe in the future if you don't, if you decide that you don't like my content. But I'm not really talking about you know the subscriber stuff or you subscribing it would be nice if you can subscribe but we're not here talking about that today we're going to be talking about the UFO the UFO report that is supposed to come out sometime this month if you have completely have no idea what I'm talking about back in December Trump uh, I don't know if this was Trump or not but uh, it was a COVID-19 a COVID-19 relief bill or whatever and it's coming out and sometimes in these bills they introduce a new law like they'll hide a new law and basically what they did is they ordered, a, they, they put this order inside this COVID-19 relief bill saying, hey, the U.S. government has to create a, UFA, a UFO report within the next six months. And June, like the end of June is like the deadline of this UFA, this not, not UFA report, UFO report. Sorry, I don't know why I say UFA and not UFO, but you get the point. But yeah, they have to they have to create this. You, they have to they have to put everything they know about UFOs in this single report. And honestly, I heard some crazy stories. And there's this one video that I will mention later about UFOs. I'll leave a link to it very soon in the video. But honestly, for me, I'm actually a firm believer of aliens. Actually, yeah, I actually believe that. Hey. The U.S. government may actually be hiding aliens, right? I definitely believe in UFOs because, you know what, UFOs, they're technically not alien ships because the definition of a UFO is an unidentified flying object. It doesn't mean it's an alien spaceship, but for me, I do kind of believe it's an alien spaceship and... At the beginning, I thought, okay, that's just dumb. UFOs don't really exist when I was younger, right? And what happened is that I thought UFOs were dumb, aliens were dumb. But now I'm older, I think, hey, you know what? You Aliens do probably exist because think about it. How in the world are we supposed to be the only ones in the whole galaxy, right? How, how are we going to be the only ones in the universe? And, like, honestly, I don't believe we're the only one, you know, I don't believe we're the only only you know intelligent life or life in general here on earth all right i believe that hey on one of the moons i think it's titan or another moon it's like some icy moon i think it's around jupiter or saturn i don't know i believe that there might be bacteria and i believe that hey there was once you know life on mars because mars used to have water on it in fact it has ice caps it has polar ice caps and so I believe that, hey, aliens do exist. Just not, just not in our, just, not can't speak, not just in our solar system, but I believe out there in the other parts of the universe or galaxy. Because think about it, as a species, right, as the human species, we were able to build rockets. We have built, you know, bombs, right, that leak, that, we use controlled explosions to take us into space, right? And we're riding these bombs into space to deliver satellites, right? And one of the things that we put in orbit around Earth is a telescope. And, and if I be more specific, the, t the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope is responsible on taking uh, pictures of many planets and, y you know, solar systems across the universe, right? And what you got to keep under what you guys, what you guys to understand is that there is something called the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, some, there's something out there called, uh, I forgot the name of it light years right okay light year yeah so you see with light light isn't just instant like that it travels all right it travels like how you sound travels and you can break the sound barrier back here on earth and it creates like a sonic boom basically yes yeah, lights like that too light isn't instant it, it feels instant here on earth because you know light travels super fast but light travels at an insane distance uh i think it i believe it takes it eight minutes from earth, from earth from the sun to earth for sunlight to reach earth it takes eight minutes to do that and a full second for light to uh 
get to the moon to uh to the to the planet earth so yeah light travels over a distance it's not instant all right it may it feels instant but it's not light travels at a super fast distance so what we did is we calculate stuff and most of these planets are you know several light years away one of the nearest solar systems to us i forgot the name of it but it's like satari alpha or something satari or whatever i don't know i don't know something around those names but we have a, the nearest solar system to us is like four light years away. So that means it takes four years from the sun from that a solar system to travel to Earth, basically, right? And and what happened is that not how it happened, but what's going on and what I believe is that hey, light travels over these distance. We have the Hubble Space Telescope, and we have found and we have spotted other worlds out there. And these other worlds, um, you know, are you know hundreds and hundreds of light years away Th think about it and these are, worlds are similar to earth basically think about it what if we're looking at other civilizations and we just don't know it right like what if we're looking at these civilizations it's just you know the light from these civilizations hasn't caught up to us yet and we're just looking at a planet that you know existed before you know life was even on it or if there is life it just hasn't you know developed it enough for us to spot it think about it how about let, let's say there's another planet out there right and they're like similar to us they put a space telescope in space and they found our earth however they're like super far away and you know millions not millions but you know maybe thousands or even hundreds of light years away so they can't really see human development they can't really see any of the city lights from where they are right so maybe there's aliens i believe that aliens are definitely looking on our planet all right they're looking at our planet however they're not looking at the planet at its current state however i do believe in that we do have aliens visiting our planet it sounds a little bit far-fetched but let me explain Honestly, I seen some weird UFO videos, especially with the UFO videos being released uh, being leaked I'll show you guys one of the video clips. You guys probably saw this, but this is a UFO Spotted by you know naval pilots during a training mission off the coast of North Carolina or South Carolina around that time and they would spot these UFOs and at the time nobody can explain them and the concern is that it's either our technology or it's Russia or China's and if that's the case, that's really scary because if they can have like, you know, technology that can maneuver like that, that's really scary for our national security, for the security of the, for the United States. Honestly, if it has to be aliens or, you know, secret tech of the United, of, of these countries, I prefer aliens because you know what? China and Russia really do honestly scare me, especially China because China is, you know, expanding. All right. They're expanding out way too much. Uh, th they're not known for, you know, human rights. They're not really known for all that. They're, they're communists. They don't believe in, you know, it's, it's basically a, the Susie Liu. So basically, if Susie Liu ran a country, it would be like China, basically. That's what I would say about what China is. So China really scares me. Russia, Russia scares me, but not as much as China. And if any of those nations have, you know, powerful technology and, and planes similar to what we see in that video that's scary and that's why i want to believe in aliens and i think aliens do exist earlier in the video i mentioned that hey there's this really fascinating fascinating video and i think you guys should watch it i forgot the name of it but it's like some documentary it's these bunch of youtubers and they're going to this town like i think in michigan i think that's what it is and basically what happened is that this this town in michigan was involved with the apollo program and after six weeks after the they bland I don't know, like six weeks after they land humans on the moon, they started seeing these UFOs all over the place, right? And the, the theory is that UF, that aliens have, you know, saw the, pro, the Apollo program and saw, hey, humans have landed on the moon, so they're investigating. And some of the parts for the Apollo program, most of the parts, most of the navigating the electronics and even some of the stuff, I, I'll get to that in a little bit, but... Uh, the electronics and all the navigation equipment to get humans on Mars, not Mars, uh, the moon, has been developed in this small town. And what do you know what else is crazy? There was like a silicon, do a silicon disc produced at this uh, town, which a bunch of world leaders have, have signed their names on it. And it's like a message, right? It's like all in English and it says, 
I don't know. It's just a message saying, hey, this, they say this is, I don't know. It said something like around the lines of, we come in peace of, of all of humanity. I don't know. It's just they, they, they wrote this message and they put it on a on the landers of the uh, moon, the moon landers. And so basically there's a message from humanity from, you know, Earth on this moon. It's super cool, crazy, and that was made at the at this small town in Michigan. So that's why, you know, explains so basically what I said earlier is that this town was was known for producing all this type of technology for the Apollo program and ever since that 6 weeks later, a bunch of UFO sightings were starting to appear all around the place in this small town of Michigan. And some of the uh, eyewitness accounts were literally insane. This one girl, like she was on her, she was, she was visiting this lake, and this they and her and her family saw this big UFO. It was like the big as the lake as it as it was below. And what happened is they got abducted or something like that, and they remember the abduction and what they did to them. And it ruined, like, the physical health of the person that got abducted. It was super crazy, and that happened a long time ago, and she's, like, super old, and she keeps telling the, you know, story. And it was, like, super, really, really, really crazy. And what else happened is that they're trying to get an interview with the police chief in this town as well and about the UFOs. But every time they had, every time they would show up to the police station for an interview with the police chief, the police chief would, you know, stall or say that he's busy. And one day, they showed up, and a bunch of police were there, and they said, hey, no, the sh sheriff's out of town for Thursday, and they're not going to be there, there for Thursday. I don't know. It's a super interesting video. I recommend that you guys check it out. Um, I'm going to cut the video here. Uh, I re really want to see this UFO report. Honestly, I'm very curious about that. I want to see if aliens are finally true. If so, that's pretty cool. My question is, are they friendly or not? If I have to take a guess, I'm going to say that, that that they're friendly because if they were not friendly, let's be honest, aliens would have already nuked us at this point if they were not friendly because, you know, take a look at the Halo, right? The Covenant from Halo literally destroyed humanity. They destroyed several worlds. It took a super soldier to, you know, stop the, you know, stop the Covenant from Halo, right? So, honestly, if the aliens invaded Earth today, we, we, we would have been screwed over. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and see ya. Peace.